Hey guys, what's going on? This is your boy Say One History on The Awakened Show. And if you're one of those people that actually have key fobs that open your car, turn on your car, or use key fobs to even get in your home, uh, this may be the story for you. Now, before we get started, please make sure that you like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be updated for all new content that's coming out. With that being said, let's move forward. Now, a strange and perplexing event in Cleveland, Ohio, affected thousands of people in late April. Residents of the town of North Olmstead in Ohio began finding that their wireless car key fobs and garage door openers had simply ceased to function. Sometimes it would be one of a pair of remote key fobs that wouldn't work, while other ones did. At other times, car doors couldn't be opened wirelessly while parked at other places. But if the vehicle returned to North Olmstead, the locked doors became inserted once more. Now, this would be one thing if it was just one or a few cars here. But we have hundreds, if not thousands of people in this town actually having the same issue. People started troubleshooting all over North Olmstead. People started buying new batteries for their car, started buying new batteries for their key fobs, still to no avail. Some suggested that it might be related to the International Airport over in Cleveland Hopkins. Some stated that it might even be hazardous technology that NASA was actually using over in their area. But when the people of North Olmstead went to turn over these rocks to see what was going on, they still had no answers. City officials even got involved suggesting that the malfunction might be related to telecommunications and electronic providers who dispatched their own crews to investigate whatever could be jamming the residents' radio transmitter signals. It wasn't until police officials actually went door to door in North Olmstead to figure out what was causing the issues with the radio signal. The police officials say after going to hundreds of doors, it turns out that the culprit was a homemade device invented by local electronic enthusiasts. He had designed a specialized gadget to inform him if anybody was upstairs in his house while he was working downstairs in the basement. And this excuse just doesn't fly for me, people, because if you want to know what's going on in your home while you're working downstairs in a basement, why don't you just get a Wi-Fi camera that detects motion? I have quite a few of them in my home, and I check them constantly when I'm away or at work here. I mean, nine times out of ten, it's just my cats, but um, it's good to know that you can check your home if something is, is going on in your neighborhood. But there you go, people. I mean, no UFOs, no government conspiracies on this one here. It's just your simple, old-fashioned home device that's messing everybody's lives up. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for their patience with these videos coming. I am literally uh, one week away from being done with school. Uh, so I, I can't wait. I have my final um, assessment test and I can start jumping on these videos a lot more. But thank you again for watching. I appreciate all of you in internet land, YouTube land, Facebook land, wherever you're watching this video from. Thank you. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.